Hi friends and favorite shoppers, welcome back to my channel. I am uh, bringing you something a little bit different than the usual shopping haul. Um, today's video, I will be decorating my house for Christmas. I just couldn't wait any longer. Um, it's only November 7th. I know it's early, but I'm actually behind compared to last year. So um, right now my house is just completely in disarray. I took down all of the fall decorations. I'll show you them kind of piled up. Um, and it's kind of like a blank slate. I take down most of my year round decoration and fill it with the holiday stuff. So it's like a total transformation. Um, so I won't be able to link much of the decorations below just because they're things I've collected over the last few years once we bought our house like five years ago. Um, so it won't be so much to kind of uh, show you items to purchase. It'll just be a fun video going through talking about the holidays and um, kind of my process for decorating. And um, I did purchase a few things this morning at Walmart, so I'll show you those. But um, my sister called me from her Walmart down in Florida and she FaceTimed me so I could kind of see what was there. She gets an early start every Saturday morning. She's at Walmart. Um, and so I kind of got an idea of what I was going in for, but I just love to browse the holiday stuff. Um, so I went fairly early this morning, picked up a few things. Um, and so I'll show you that, but otherwise it's just stuff I've collected over the years. And so if that sounds interesting to you, um, I hope you stay tuned. It's early enough, so maybe it will give you some ideas of how you can decorate your house if you're interested. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. All right, so I think I'll just kind of show you the blank slate, almost like a before, and then at the end of the video, I'll kind of do um, a tour of the after. I don't know if that'll end up being today or tomorrow, um, today's Saturday, because it does take a long time, and it's a little overwhelming seeing everything and then trying to figure out where to put it. So um, I will show you kind of the before, blank slate, and then stay tuned for the after. So you can kind of see there's, I mean, there's a few things on the wall, like I keep the mirror up um, that truck I picked up to leave out kind of year-round and just change out um, kind of the decorations in the back of it and then I usually leave that farmhouse sign because it's pretty secure into the wall and that frame there I switch out the picture that's in it for the seasons um, and then that jug I usually put different um, you know fake flowers in it so I have some work to do things are kind of just bare um, okay, so I utilize the dining room table as storage when switching over all of the decorations. So these are all of the fall decorations. I have my bin of actually Halloween decorations. The rest are more fall themed. Um, so this is everything getting packed up today. Um, so then those flower boxes on the wall are fall currently. Those will change over to um, more sparkly and Christmassy looking flowers and decoration. And then here we have all of the Christmas decorations. These are just the indoor decorations. So I have quite a bit of work cut out for me, but let me go ahead and pull out the um, Walmart stuff I picked up this morning so I can show you. Okay, so let me just run through the Walmart purchases. I forgot I also went to Marshall's. Um, so I'll show you the few things I picked up at Marshall's. But first, for Walmart, I picked up this really cute bear countdown to Christmas. Um, it's like wood with some uh, silver metal and then the numbers, which you can count down as long as you want, other than more than 100, I guess. Um, this also had one that was a reindeer, but the trees were a little more plain. So I went with the bear. So that is one thing I picked up at Walmart. Um, I picked up a lot of lights for outside and stuff like that. Um, and two of these outdoor lights. So I'm gonna string those across the front of the house. Um, and then I really didn't pick up much at Walmart picked up some of these little decorations for the tree some ornaments they're like old lanterns and my, I'm saving the best for last from Walmart this was the last one on the shelf at my Walmart it's an indoor or outdoor decoration and it's a reindeer 
um, with it, it comes with I think the um, the floral you know it's a planter so I think it comes with the flowers because when it moves it sounds like they're in there it's up to 36 inches tall um, it is just so stinking cute I love it I'm, I'm probably gonna put it inside just because obviously in New York we get rain we get snow I just don't want it to rust um, so I'm probably gonna find a place inside for it I just thought it was so cute if I can find it on the website I'll link it below um, but like I said it was the last one that I could find in my Walmart all right so um, in between that I'm going to show you, I picked this up, my nephews in Florida were doing a fundraiser for school and um, it was just shopping on a website basically using like a code that's assigned to each of them. So I actually picked up this so cute decoration. Um, it's an ornament tree, it's metal, it's probably not even a foot tall, but it is so cute and it came with these mini um, ornaments with it. I love it. Um, so anyway, that was just a fundraiser thing I purchased for my nephew so they could get prizes or whatever for school. Um, so then Marshalls, um, I picked up just a couple things. One thing, I absolutely love these holiday boxes. Um, you can put gifts in them. For me, I got this one. I just thought it was so cute. Um, for my fiance works for a petroleum company and every year I bake tons and tons of cookies and I always send him to work the week before Christmas with a box full of cookies. So that's what I picked this up for. Then I picked up these. It's kind of like a um, platter, I guess. It was on clearance for $10 and there's four of them. I thought I could use it either part of decoration on my table as like a centerpiece type of item or for the holidays, use it as like appetizers or hors d'oeuvre plates and things like that. And then the last thing I picked up at Marshall's, there's actually two of them, are um, two uh, decorative garland. I'm not even gonna move them, I'm just gonna show you. It's these here, they come with bows, some pine cone, um, kind of like holly berries and stuff like that. Um, they were $16.99 each which I thought for garland, that's not really that bad. It feels full um, and it's not like that super cheap garland. I know the snow is gonna be a pain. It's already all over my house and my car and I felt bad in Marshalls when the guy took the cart back. I'm like, when I take these out, it's gonna make a mess and it was all over their carpet, but they sell them, so I buy them. Um, so that's the last thing I got at Marshall's. So I am going to pack up all my fall stuff and then start laying out the Christmas stuff on the dining room table so I can, I can start to kind of see what I have and plan for where it's all going to go. So I will see you in a little bit. box is cooked. <laughs> while I was unpacking some of the Christmas stuff, I would show you one of my favorite things. Um, I actually picked this up last year at, not quite a craft fair, but um, the Junior League of Syracuse um, hosts what they call the holiday shops and they bring in vendors into a big building at the state fairgrounds. And um, I just saw this last year and picked it up. It's a metal cutout of all the reindeer and then they're just on this like metal stand. Um, so cute and she only had it priced at, I don't even remember, it was less than $20. So I picked it up. Um, I always pick up a lot of stuff at that uh, shopping event. Um, it's a lot of local people, which I love to support. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you this. I am already tired, um, but I have unpacked the Christmas stuff. It does look like a giant pile of nothing right now. Um, 
I don't really have it sorted, but at least I know all that I'm working with. Um, I have some big signs, some more signs over here. Um, let's see. It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, that is my favorite movie of all time, black and white. Um, so yeah, I, I'm so tired. I'm gonna get started just slowly putting pieces here and there, probably moving them a bunch, um, and just figuring out what looks best. So I'm gonna get started on that. You can tell it is super casual today. I got my pigtails with my ball cap. Um, just was not doing hair knowing what I was up to today. So yeah, I am gonna start making it magical in here. So it is Sunday now, Sunday morning around 9 o'clock. So I did stop filming like the continuous reel of me doing all the decorating just because I took some breaks. Um, we were building a home gym in the basement. So I kind of helped out with that for a little bit. So um, I didn't get too far with decorating, but I wanted to show you the progress so far. Um, you can see behind me, I have my fireplace. I'll probably switch some things around, but um, for the most part, and I have to like fluff the garland and everything, um, and you can see I have joy above it. So I'm getting there. Um, I put up my full tree. I haven't fluffed it, decorated it, or anything yet. Um, and I put that little mailbox down there to kind of hide the outlet and the cord. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out what to put inside that sleigh there because I don't really have like a cute Santa or anything, so I gotta figure that out. Um, I picked that sleigh up at a thrifty shopper. We call them thrifty shoppers. That's the brand of thrift stores um, through what's called the Rescue Mission of Syracuse. Um, it was $9.99 at the thrift store. It's like a heavy, heavy metal. So that is like the fireplace, the Christmas tree look. Um, on this wall, that's that reindeer I picked up at Walmart. Put it together, super easy to assemble. Um, the signs on either side of it, which I think I'm gonna move those signs up. That's just where the nails were before from previous decorations. So I think I am gonna move those up a little bit. Um, over here, I haven't done too much, just playing around with decorations. Um, I got the metal truck there, a little metal, um, kind of like barn looking thing. And then I picked this Letters for Santa box up at Marshall's. Um, last year on clearance for like $12. So it's the first year I have that out, so I have to find a spot for it. Um, so let me go into the dining room and show you kind of what I've done. I haven't really done much in the kitchen. I put those two signs up there, hope and love. I'll probably move those around too. Um, I have this cute thing in the entryway. I picked that up at like a co-op antique kind of place. Um, and I just hang some cute ornaments from it. Here's my dining room table, still a mess. I haven't gotten to the herb boxes yet on the wall, I'm getting there. Um, I did put my pencil tree up here in the dining room. Um, no fluff, no decorations yet. Just making sure the lights still work before I go any further. So it's a mess. I am gonna continue plugging away at it and I'll keep showing you the progress, but I'm slowly getting there. Um, it takes so much time and I still feel like I don't have enough decorations or the right decorations. So it's quite a struggle, um, but continue watching. I will continue updating you and um, hopefully by the end of it, it looks great. All right, quick update. It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I decided since I'm putting up two trees this year, my regular full one and my pencil tree, that I couldn't decorate them the same. So I decided to re-theme my full Christmas tree. So I had to take a break and go shopping a little bit because I decided to do like a rose gold, silver white, um, light gold kind of theme. So I will show you, this is, I haven't finished, I'm getting there, it's fluffed at least, and I have some of the decorations on, but let me tell you, 
Dollar General for the win today because I walked in there not expecting much as far as finding rose gold decorations, but I was so happy they had two of these left in the store. Um, it's an ornament 44 count pack and it has the exact mix of colors that I want and look at that price, $12. So I got both of them. Then they also had this little pack of like smaller ornaments, which is good for filling in some of the empty spots, especially towards the top of the tree. Um, again, same color scheme and only $3. So I picked up those and then I also got um, this here. This came in a four pack at Dollar General, um, also for only $3. So I picked up two packs of those and then I went to Dollar Tree and picked up some of these individual ornaments. Um, they were a dollar each, and then there's a deer one that was a two pack somewhere, oh, with these really pretty antlers. So, I'm getting there. Um, I still have a lot of decorating to do. I fluffed the pencil tree and put a few decorations on, just random ones that I found that I bought last year and bagged them up and packed them away um, somehow with the outdoor decorations so I found them um, so the pencil tree is fluffed there's a little bit of a lean at the top I gotta fix but it's getting there so I will check back in with you soon all right guys so it is a week later and I am pretty much done I just wanted to get this video over with um, so I'll just show you kind of the finished product as far as the decorating goes um, it, the house isn't clean and stuff yet but I just wanted to film this um, early this morning so maybe tomorrow I can edit and post but anyway I'm gonna flip the camera and just kind of walk you through some of the decorations okay so this first little corner here um, I picked up that Letters for Santa box at Marshall's on clearance last year. Um, I have the metal truck here that the back of it is empty. So with each season, I can kind of change what's in it. Um, I have that, I'm sorry, my dog barked. Um, I have that metal wreath I picked up at like a vintage store and just put a sign behind it. Um, the countdown to Christmas, I got to update those are days old, but that is from Walmart. These two side pieces are separate, the Noel and Joy. Um, I probably picked up at Marshall's or something. So yeah, and I have a home is the heart of the holidays. I picked up at AC Moore. Unfortunately, AC Moore has since closed permanently. Um, so that is just a little corner for you. Um, all year round, I leave the two pictures on the sides, the uh, metal wreath and the old um, frame I picked up at an antique store and then just changed the decorations around Okay, it. my favorite part of the decorations in the house. Um, I have my Christmas tree up here in this corner. Um, I changed the color theme, it's kind of like a light gold, silver, white, and rose gold. Um, so I picked up all new decorations for that. And um, I picked up that sleigh to the right here, whoop, right there. And that was at a thrift store um, for $9.99. It's a heavy metal sleigh. I'll see if I can get a little closer so you can see. Um, I put some lights in there. Actually, this poinsettia um, arrangement, it's fake, but I also picked up at a thrift store um, and just kind of set it in there with the lights. Um, another letters mailbox, uh, I picked that up at AC Moore when they were closing for super cheap. And then the Noel sign, um, the mirror stays up all year. I just change what is over it. Um, so I have that wood star I picked up at a little antique store. Let me back up a little and show you the fireplace. Um, so yeah, just have some lights. I don't have all uh, the one lights, they're not on draped over the fireplace mantle. But anyway, above the mantle, it's kind of like a gold silver theme with metal. Um, I think it looks really good with the white of the fireplace. 
So, um, yeah, that is what the fireplace looks like. Picked up those LED strip lights for behind the TV. They look a little funny because our TV isn't flat against the wall. It's on an arm in the corner, so it doesn't, like, have the perfect square or rectangle, I guess, around it. Um, but anyway, it's still pretty. It gives it extra light. So, there's a little bit of decorations over here. Another mirror. Um, the two signs I finally moved up a little. Um, that metal reindeer is the one I picked up at Walmart for $20, um, and it came with the uh, flower arrangement inside. All right, let me move into the deck. So here we have the dining room table. Um, the garland around the window I'm probably going to take down. I just had it extra and kind of draped it around the entire three windows, but I don't like it. Um, but anyway, I just have a couple trees here with my Bath & Body Works three wick candle gingerbread house. Um, I'll probably add a little bit more to the table, but right now it's just clean and simple. I have my herb boxes filled with the holiday floral arrangements. Um, change those with every season. Over here I have a Be Merry sign, a little sled up there. Um, I have wreaths on all of the windows and then above my hutch here with my cookbooks and different books and whatnot, um, strung some lights and everything like that. Added garland around the door frame with my favorite sign, It's a Wonderful Life. And then my other tree, which is just like a pencil tree. I haven't finished decorating. I've only put the sticks, the picks in the tree. I haven't actually hung the ornaments yet. So that is to come um, soon. And then my other hutch here, just added a few decorations and a decorative garland there. I have lots of candles on display and then just a few trees um, on top. Those picture frames on either side, um, I got those at the Dollar Tree and I spray painted them gold and just put a single um, ornament inside each of them. And I have another wreath. And then in this corner here, um, I have my little decorative birdhouse. I threw some lights in there. Um, the old-fashioned uh, toboggan sled uh, with a lit wreath, and then I wrapped my staircase. And then over here, a little ornament um, wreath that I kind of made quickly one day last year. Another Bath & Body Works candle holder for a single wick. Another lit tree. Um, another wreath. So that is it for the dining room still gotta put my bins up area it's a mess i'm not gonna lie um but just wanted to show you i picked up these garland um pieces that are on either side of the um doorway they were 16.99 at marshall's and then the top piece obviously is a different one um that i picked up at ac Moore. but just a few decorations here and then lastly another garland on the other door frame um <laughs> strung lights with it and yeah that is pretty much everything I have for decorating um, you know it, it's so overwhelming when you actually go to do it and then it feels like it's not even that much once it's all put in place but hope you enjoyed it um, it's more just to see it's not really to display things to buy um, because most of these things are just like I said earlier um, pieces I've collected over the last few years since we bought the house so that is it for decorating. Um, so I'm gonna work on getting this posted for you and hope you enjoy.